Let's say you did some side hustles last year. Trafficked some drugs, robbed a few banks, done some insider trading, and now you're sitting on crores of cash. You are a smart person, you know the problem. You cannot just go out and use this truckload of cash. You need to show that this money came from a legal business. Otherwise, some government agency will show up on your door and they can freeze all your assets and you'll be spending decades behind the bar. What good is all this money if you can't use it? You need to clean this money. And so, with a little financial detergent, your dirty money can become untraceable. And then you can spend it on the super yachts or the super cars and the real estate and fund a lavish lifestyle anywhere in the world. The world of money laundering is a truly international game and involves billionaires, investment banks, and even some countries' governments. So take out your notepad. A smart money-making machine that you are, you would not do this yourself. Right? You would go to a consultant. Why take the risk and get caught? So suppose this consultant gives you two options. A silver plan with 2% commission and a gold plan where they charge 12% commission. And they ask you to choose. How can you choose? You need to know what's inside the plan. Okay, I'll tell you what's inside the plan. Now, we obviously don't want people to know where this money came from. So we'll hide the source. Logical, right? In a money laundering scheme, this is called placement and this is the silver plan. Placement is the stage where the funds enter the banking system for the first time, usually through a number of regular small transactions by using a legitimate business as front for laundering. So what will the consultant do? They will open, for example, a barber shop under your name in a nice locality. But you don't know how to run a salon. Don't worry, this is only to show the government that all your black money is coming from this legitimate business. If the shop is in a posh locality or in a high-end mall, you can even show higher transaction volume and inject a little extra cash every day and it will be almost impossible to catch you. A customer can easily spend 7 to 10,000 rupees in a high-end salon. So let's say 7,000 rupees into 1 customer per hour, into 8 hours, into 365 days a year and that is 2 crore, 4 lakh, 40,000 rupees. You can easily launder 2 crores from one shop, 2 crores that came from a legitimate business. And if you scale this to 10 shop in a year, you can easily launder 20 crore rupees, 20 crore of white money in your pocket. You can run this with any retail business that deals a lot in cash. But will you be able to save taxes on this? No, saving taxes is not the point. You actually need to pay all taxes on this to make sure that your money is white. So for example, if you have 1 crore rupees, now after all taxes, you will be left with around 60 lakh. Now the 60 lakh is what you can spend peacefully on your real estate, cars and holidays. It's still better than the 1 crore lying there with which you can do nothing. The good part of the silver plan is that if your money is detected, you can always show that it came from a legitimate business. But this is the first step in the money trail and widely considered to be the riskiest. The problem is, for example, if you get caught doing your illegal activities, and you confess under pressure where all you have invested the proceeds of your crime, the government can easily seize all the assets. Think about it. If you have been running this racket for 5 years, then almost 10 crore of your asset will vanish in a moment. If you want to secure whatever you have already earned, and that the government should not be able to seize this, and that the money should go to your family even if you go to jail, is not covered in the silver plan. But looks like the gold plan has you covered. How? The first step of placement will be the same in the gold plan, but two additional steps of layering and integration will be carried out. Typically, a good money laundering scheme involves all three steps of placement, layering and integration. Layering is when your illegitimate money is put together with the legitimate money and put in constant motion. It involves doing so many transactions that it becomes almost impossible to figure out the transactions involving the dirty money. The clean money that you got in the first step, you are free to use that any which way you like. So you can transfer this money as a loan or an investment to a shell company in a tax haven country with good banking secrecy laws. This money will be shuffled around in multiple shell companies in multiple foreign currencies and then placed in real estates or shares and then finally used to buy some financial product. There can be dramatic differences in how the layering is implemented. But the overall idea remains the same and that is to basically create so many layers between you and the dirty money that the government is not able to identify which is which. Basically, the trail leading back to you goes dark. This is the step that you have been waiting for so patiently. The money that you had sent outside for layering is brought back as legitimate money, as loans or investment in a business that is not registered under your name. It can be in the business of 
your parents or siblings or any other person basically it should look like the investing company and the foreign partner does not have any prior contact for all practical purposes the foreign partner should appear to be the owner of this money the invested cash is often placed in luxury assets properties or long term investments it can also be used to buy more assets that can be used at a later date to facilitate more money laundering safely if you did your job right the government agencies will not be able to do anything even if they are suspicious why because they won't be able to connect the money back to you all this is not easy to execute there are specific laws like prevention of money laundering act to handle these kind of situations also everything in this video comes from what government agencies already know you know the criminals are not very keen to share their trade secrets with us i hope you learned something new in this video so click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon wrapping it up this is paritosh signing off